This video is sponsored by Fiverr. Fiverr is one of the best places to turn your hobby into a side hustle or find the perfect freelance service for your business. If you're interested in trying out Fiverr, use my link in the description below for 10% off your first gig. But more on Fiverr in a bit. Now, this video actually came about because subscriber Let's Count Off thought it would be a good idea to talk about hobbies that you can make money from. I thought so too when I got started on it. I thought, this will be easy. I'll just head to my trusty friend Google and look at a few articles that show up in 18.9 million results. How do I pick one? Every one of them on the first page looks great. Then I thought, what would science do? Science would look at every front page article, write down every single hobby that you can earn money from, put them in an Excel doc, and determine which ones were mentioned the most. Those must be the most popular or most useful to talk about. So I did that, except I stopped after the first 10 articles. I mean, one of them had 93 hobbies and one of them had 60. Here you have the results of that long exercise on screen, the raw table before I organize my thoughts and findings for you. Today I'm gonna cover my top 12 hobbies for income according to my scientific study in hopes that one or two inspires you. But I'm not gonna stop there. No, no. After that, I'm gonna cover the 10 strangest hobbies I came across on those 10 sites. Just a handful that made me go, hmm, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> but we're still not done. Then I'm gonna cover 10 hobbies I personally found exciting. 10 that I wanna recommend because I see them as lucrative, underrated, and up and coming. If you appreciate what's ahead and the work I put into it, be sure to make a hobby out of hitting that like button and subscribe if I earn it by the end. With that said, let's dive in. I'm going to go fast, but if you want that raw spreadsheet to inspect for yourself, I'm giving it away. Head to the second link in the description below to snag that. I stack ranked over 50 of the best hobbies, plus sub hobbies and lots of one-off ideas. I'm gonna go reverse order here to build suspense, starting with number 12, social media manager. Social media is definitely a hobby for many. In fact, the average user spends 53 minutes a day on Instagram alone. But here's the thing, many businesses, especially local small businesses, don't have the team or time to establish a social media presence. That's where you step in. Contact some of your favorite local spots and see if they need help. And a little pro tip here, make it a restaurant so you can take pictures of food, then eat the food. That's a win-win. <laughs> Number 11, restoring and flipping furniture. Now I'm not an expert here, but I do know that you need some basic tools, some skills, and some space to store the furniture. Check out the YouTube channel, Jamie and Sarah to learn. I got really into their videos this last year and love seeing their flips and hearing their profit breakdowns in the end. Sometimes lucrative, sometimes a fail, but they have fun. Failure is fun. Number 10, fitness instructor. This one rose up the ranks in 2020 for probably obvious reasons. Our gym shut down like most and we had to figure out alternate ways to exercise at home. Enter YouTube. We discovered Orange Theory, Mad Fit, and Nourish Move Love. We still love NML. Check that one out for some inspo. That new Apple show physical could provide some inspiration as well. It's great. Number nine is gaming, and I was surprised to see this one show up on seven of the 10 websites I scienced. Apparently there's some mobile games that will pay you to play. I think you can actually give feedback on beta games for money. You can blog as a game reviewer or become a pro and get sponsored. Honestly, I don't know how you make money from gaming, so you let me know the best way to earn income from gaming in the comments. Number eight, gardening and landscaping. This is one I definitely see myself getting into as I get older and own my own home, whether it's for money or for fun. You can grow veggies and herbs and sell them at a farmer's market or start a YouTube channel like Epic Gardening. You can even just mow neighbor's lawns, you're never too old. You could start a landscaping business, you get the idea. Number seven, musician slash DJ. All of these so far showed up seven times across these 10 sites. I had to lump a bunch together here because musician can actually mean having a band, being a music teacher, selling instruments, DJing weddings, giving private lessons, and even busking, which was a new term I learned in this research. It's playing in the streets for cash. Nice. Number six, arts and crafts. The Etsy effect is real. If you're good at arts and crafts, there's a ton of opportunity to create your own Etsy store and sell your arts and crafts online. There are other ways, of course, but it's impossible to ignore Etsy here. We ordered ring boxes and signage templates from Etsy for our wedding just this week. You could also sell at local art events, but don't rule out templates. We could have ordered our sign templates from Fiverr too, actually. 
Number five, pet sitting and dog walking. I'm sure I don't have to explain this category. It's huge. Rover is the go-to spot to find dog walkers and dog sitters. I often see people in my neighborhood in Seattle walking five or six dogs on a random Tuesday afternoon when I'm out for a jog. Pets are big business because they're family, but more on pets later on. Number four is cooking and baking. First, I love the idea of selling digital recipes or meal plans online. You could also get on a cooking or baking show, although they probably don't pay anything unless you win. During the pandemic, lots of home pop-ups popped up selling baked goods and even meals that you could order for delivery. Just make sure you follow real legal rules if you start a business out of your own kitchen, not pandemic rules. Number three is illustration and graphic design. You can design logos, especially for small brands. I actually struggled to find a book designer for my books and almost went the 99 design route where graphic designers submit their work for briefs and hope they get picked as the winner for money or just scour Craigslist. I found a post and helped design a logo for a local band 10 years ago. Plus, most YouTubers need thumbnail help, myself included, so reach out. Number two, photography. This is another one I personally attempted. Years ago, I tried to submit some of my best photos from an older camera, only to get rejected by stock photo sites because the resolution was too low. Now that said, most cell phones these days have near professional quality cameras built in, so you can get started with this one at low to no cost. If you have a nice camera though, you can be an event photographer, and if you're a real pro, you can create and sell digital LUTs. And number one, probably no surprise here, it's writing, blogging, editing, and proofreading. If it has to do with writing with a pen or more likely typing on a computer, it fits in this category. This one and photography were the only ones that were mentioned on all 10 sites, but this one is more like 30 or 40 if you count all the subcategories. I hired an editor and paid proofreaders, I blog and get paid over on Medium. I've self-published two books and both are available in four forms, even hardcover. Entry into this hobby is easy, but it can take some time to make some real money. So there you have it, the top 12 hobbies you can earn money from according to science. But now let's get to the strange. And zero offense, of course, intended if you love one of these next 10 hobbies. They're not weird, I just, didn't expect to see him show up on these top lists. If you do any of these or something else that's odd though, please definitely tell me about it. Here are the most unique hobbies I came across in no particular order. Beekeeper, this one actually showed up twice. Girl Scout leader, creating dollhouses. Bonsai trees, I, I don't know. <laughs> Pinterest virtual assistant, I'm guessing for Etsy stores and maybe bloggers. Couponer, snow globe maker, can't make this stuff up, guys. Shoemaker, and two that are very normal, but I was surprised to see how often they showed up. The first is woodworking. This showed up four times. Maybe make some wood shoes. And this last one showed up a whopping six times out of 10. It's just one word, comedy. Now, I totally get this as a hobby, but six times. Is this one lucrative or something? Now, I really do enjoy a comedy show, but please enlighten me in the comments how this one works. Why do you think it showed up? so often. Okay, I'm personally most excited for this final section because it's my list, handpicked by me of course. These final 10 hobbies that can make you money were selected because I think they're underrated or trending or sound awesome or just flat out put money in the bank. Again, reverse order of my favorites here, but first, a note about our sponsor, Fiverr. Fiverr is a marketplace for freelance services worldwide. You can buy and sell a variety of digital services or gigs that start at just five bucks. Services cover most of the hobby side hustles I've mentioned so far, including writing, original music, graphic design, photography, and social media management. But gigs are far more diverse than that. You can find influencers to promote your brand, hire a website developer, find help with SEO or brand style guidelines, get ad copy, market research, business consulting, packaging for your product, and tons more. Seriously, if you have a skill or need help with your business, you'll find success with Fiverr. Thank you Fiverr for sponsoring today's video and offering my viewers 10% off their first purchase with the link below. Okay, number 10, coaching or refereeing. I had to have this one on my list because I have a soft spot for it. I actually coached high school baseball for seven years and it was easily the most satisfying side job I've ever had. 
Plus refereeing in college helped me pay for college. I promise you your local community needs more help with youth sports. Number nine, podcast or YouTube assistant. Lots of people dream about starting a podcast or YouTube channel, but I recommend starting by helping someone else. You'll learn a lot and you'll improve your skills before you start your own. Podcasters need producers to edit and post. YouTubers desperately need good editors and even writers. Trust me, it's a growing need and a great opportunity to post your skills on Fiverr. Number eight is translation services. It's actually estimated half the people or more on earth speak more than one language. If that's you, know that it's a huge skill and could be a massive opportunity income-wise. Maybe you can even travel with someone and be their translator. I just made that up, but it sounds great. <laughs> I bet you'll come up with a way better idea. Number seven is personal chef. This one could be a dream. Rich people don't like to cook. Not a fact, but it sounds correct, right? <laughs> Find someone in a nice house or that at least has a nice kitchen that wants help on the daily. It could be an everyday person with a large family, and I bet this one could be more lucrative than working in a restaurant or even running one if you find the right person or family or celebrity. Number six, cosplay costume designer. This category is huge and only getting huger, if that's a word. If you're good at sewing, fashion, makeup, and or jewelry, and are also a fan of comic books, movie characters, and or video games, boom, you just met your match. Diehards are more than willing to pay for the best get up at the next convention or event. Plus there's nothing worse than having the second best White Walker outfit or whatever's cool now. <laughs> I saw cosplay props and even costume armor posted on Fiverr. Number five, tour guide. This is one I've wanted to do ever since we booked an Airbnb experience in Paris. It was just the two of us and a personal tour guide. He was awesome. We walked around and talked and toured the city for hours. He took pictures of us, he knew his stuff, and it was a real highlight of the trip. If you're an expert in your own city, consider listing your touring skills as an experience. Yes, even on Fiverr, like this Vegas one. Number four is RV rental. This is another one I'm personally tempted by. I saw an old RV for sale the other day and I thought I could buy that in cash, fix it up a little, and rent it out a week at a time. Since the pandemic, there's a huge market for RVs for road trips, but people don't wanna own them. So buy one and rent it out. It might take a year to get your money back, but after that, it's all profit. Number three, baking dog treats. This one has huge upside potential in my opinion. I know I personally pay a lot for dog treats and even more when I'm at the park and there's a food truck, but for dogs. Plus this one covers the baking and pet categories, which are number four and five on my top 12 list. I love the idea of a dog treat small business on wheels and you can get a Bow Wow logo for your dog treat biz on Fiverr. Sorry, I had to. Number two is flying drones. This one showed up five times. Basically buy a drone with a nice camera, sell services to do flyovers and then sell the footage. I had no idea how important this was until we were house hunting and came across a ton of amazing aerial footage online. There's definitely a market for selling aerial footage for real estate, events, and more. Just make sure you follow local laws. And of course, you can definitely buy and sell footage on Fiverr as well, or there's always drone racing. And number one, is gambling. Now I chose this one because of course I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. The real number one is investing. Now I'm kind of cheating since I prefer it to be hands off and automated rather than an active hobby. But when you think about it, what's better than spending a dollar to get five or seven or even 10 over time? This is a personal finance channel after all. In the long run, the stock market always goes up. Just look at this chart. Now, I don't recommend picking individual stocks. I recommend an index fund that includes the top 500 companies. But if investing in individual companies gets you excited to invest, go for it. My personal favorite hobby of all time is compound interest returns, but you can invest in many ways like projects you believe in on Kickstarter. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope I delivered and I hope something on this list inspires you into action. Do let me know if so. Again, if you want my raw Excel doc I created to make this video with over 50 hobby categories ranked by science, kind of, head to themoneyresolution.com forward slash hobbies to download that. Like if you appreciated my scientific approach to this one. Subscribe if I earned it and you wanna see more from me showing up in your YouTube feed. 
Thank you, let's count off for the video idea. Thanks again, Fiverr, for sponsoring this video. I personally use and love the service. Again, using my link below really helps me out and gets you 10% off your first purchase. My name is Frankie, this is The Money Resolution, and I hope to see you all in a few days on the next one. Thanks. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough edit and I have five hours to do so. I should have thought about outsourcing this on Fiverr. Oh well, off I go. See ya.